Hi, I'm George, and we're going to be making a photo mosaic portrait out of this picture. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, click on subscribe, and take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. There's a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, let's get this thing started off. First, we need to make a new file to work in. So I'll go up here to File, come down to New, Blank File, and let's just set this at Default Photoshop Elements Size, and then change the width to 7 and the height to 5. And I have mine set for a resolution of 300, which is a printing resolution. We can save this out to a JPEG at a lower resolution if you want to use this for the internet, things like that. Choose OK. Here's our size. To make this easy, you want to have floating windows enabled. See how my window here floats? Go up to Edit, come down to Preferences right here, and General. And right there, Allow Floating Documents in Expert Mode. Make sure that is checked. Choose OK, and you're all set. Okay, let's now take this one. Here's why I want to have floating windows. I can just take the background layer and drag it over here, drop it in, and there we go. I'll go ahead and we'll close that out of the way. Now I want to have this a lot larger in the screen. So I'm just going to put her up here. I'll grab the bottom right-hand corner here, and I'm going to pull this out until we get a really good size image like that. And I'll position her about here. That's pretty good. Somewhere like that. If I go too far, this thing begins showing up here right-hand side, just a bit distract. So I'll take it over just until that doesn't show, which is right about here. I want a bit more space on the side that she's looking towards. It just makes a bit more sense that way. All right, here's our basic layout then for our picture. I can then dock that just by going up here to the top, docks it into our docked position. We now can set up all of our images for the mosaic. I need to have a bunch of images. Let me bring up a folder that I have with that. And it's right here. Now this folder has a bunch of things I've copied over. It has right now 110. I don't need that many, but this is what I just happen to have. Now these are all different sizes. I went through and I picked only ones that were horizontal. So they're all basically the same layout. Although some are bigger than others. Notice that this butterfly is a lot taller than that butterfly. So they're all different sizes. And we need to get all of these to be the same size first. Now I have these in a folder I named Mosaic right here. I also have another folder I named Mosaic 2. And with those two things, we can get these resized properly. So go up to the File menu, come down to Process Multiple Files, and then we have a Source and a Destination Folders in here. The Source is the folder that I just showed you. I'll go ahead and I'll navigate to that. And that one's right here. Choose OK. And then my Destination Folder, I already have the folder made. It's just empty right now. Go over here to Browse, and I'll set that up. And it's right down here, right underneath the Mosaic folder. I made another one. Just call it Mosaic 2, choose OK. Now you can do same as source. I never do this because I want to make sure that I have two copies, my original and the new version. Just in case something goes wrong, I can always go back to my originals. That way they're protected. OK, now what we want to do is to come down here. We're going to be resizing our images. That's image size. Check that. And I'm doing this at a resolution of 150. And on the width and height, I'm setting these to inches. The width is going to be 4. Let's uncheck Constraint Proportions. And then set the height here at 2.5. It's going to be resizing, either stretching or shrinking the vertical size on those, but that's okay for this. This way they'll all be exactly the same size. We can convert these. I have it set up here for JPEG max quality right there. And we're all set. Everything else can be left alone. And then just hit the OK button. And it's going to process all of those files. You can see they're processing their upper left-hand corner. Then I'll pause the video right now. And I'll bring it back up as soon as this first step is handled. And there we go. And here's the Mosaic 2 folder. And notice now the two butterfly pictures are the same exact height. So everything has been adjusted. These are all now all the same size. Now we can take these over into the organizer. So let me bring the organizer up. And that's the button right down there. There we go. Click on that. And I have a new catalog set up here just for these images. And to do that, go up here to File, come down to Manage Catalogs. And you can make a new catalog right in here with that new button there. That way you can keep just those images inside here. We now need to import those new images, the resized images, into this catalog. So click on the Import button. And from Files and Folders. And there we go. Here's the Mosaic 2. I'm just going to select everything in here. Hold the Shift key down. All selected. And choose Open. This will then bring all of those in. I'm not going to bother with any keyword tags on this. doesn't matter what we're doing. And there we go. We now have everything inside that was 110 images. Now at this point, we're going to be doing just a little cheat. Take the control over here and find a spot that you like. That's pretty good right in here. I think this area looks nice. Just a spot that has some nice 
mix of images. Again, I can choose in here from two different sets because that fills the whole thing. This has a lot of blue down in here. Then the top half up here has more of a mix of colors. So I think I like this top half better. Now for the cheat on this one, normally if I was over in Photoshop, I would use the contact sheet tool for this and make a contact sheet out of it. Unfortunately, the contact sheet here in Photoshop Elements doesn't do a good job for this particular process. Let me just show you that real fast so you see what I'm talking about. Go over to File, come down to Print, and here's the contact sheet option. It's right here. And the problem here in Elements is that I can't control the spacing in here between the images. I always have these big spaces, and that's going to cause its problems. So we're not going to be using this tool for this. Instead, we'll just do a screen grab and use this right here as our contact sheet. All you have to do is hit the print screen button on your keyboard. There you go, I just did it. You won't see anything. Let's now go back over to the editor. Here we go. And then file new blank file. Make sure it says clipboard, choose okay. There it is. Now this is the same size as what we just copied by hitting that print screen button, which copies all of that information onto your clipboard. And then go up to edit and paste. And there we go, there's our screenshot that we just took of the organizer. We now need to crop in on this, but I want to crop in in a very specific way. We have these little thin white lines in here most of the time. I'm going to leave those, but I don't want to have anything big showing on the outer edges. So for that, let's zoom in like this. Make sure you have your rulers showing. If you don't, go up here to View and Check Rulers right here. And then grab a ruler and pull a guideline in just like this and bring it right in so it's just inside the picture here, left-hand side. Let's now do that on the top. Same thing, pull the top ruler down, bring it just inside the pictures. There it is right here. I want it just at the top of the picture right there. Let's go to the right-hand side. Same exact thing. Pull that ruler in and bring it just inside your image. There we go. And then same thing at the bottom, right down here. At the bottom, I don't want to have these partial pictures. So instead, I'll pull my line right down just to the top of that white line that's separate in that last row of pictures. There we go. Okay, let's now zoom this back out to fit screen. And that's right down here, fit screen. And then grab the crop tool over here. Now with these guidelines on here, you can grab the sides of the crop tool and it's going to snap right to those guidelines. Just like that. It just goes right exactly onto those, giving you a perfect positioning on that. Okay, there we go. It's all nicely snapped in. Hit the green check mark for OK. And there it is, we've now cropped that image down. Let's now grab this tab, pull this and float it out again, and then grab that layer and drag it over here and drop it in. And there we go, there's our mosaic on top of our picture. Now I wanna have the image here at about two thirds the size of her eye. We can't really see the eye in there, but it's right about in here someplace. So I'll grab the right hand top corner and I'll bring this down just a little bit in size. And I'm just kind of guesstimating where that eye should be, but about in here someplace I think is pretty good. You don't want these so small that you can't see the pictures. You don't want them so big that they're beginning to take you know, large amounts of area. So something kind of like that is a pretty good size for this. And then hit the green check mark. There we go. Now position this upper left-hand corner. It should snap in your corners. If it's not snapping in, go up to View and make sure that Snap To is set for all of these things. Okay, now go over here, right-hand side. Here's our mosaic, Layer 2. Right-click, Duplicate Layer. Choose OK. Let's just drag that straight down and it should snap right there. Now, because we're so careful on setting up the crop, we don't have any big lines showing between the, nothing is showing in here. That's why we did that. Okay, same thing again. Right click, duplicate layer, choose OK. Pull that one straight down and then let that snap into place. There we are. Now take these three layers, select those, hold the shift key down and select all those layers. Right click and then merge layers. And then same thing again, right click and duplicate layer, choose OK. I'll just pull that over here and I'll snap that into place. There we go. Same thing again, right click, duplicate layer, choose OK, pull that over and let that snap into position right there. And let's now merge those three layers again. Click on your top layer, hold the shift key down, click on the last of your three layers here, right click and then merge layers. And they're now just one there. I'm just going to rename this one Mosaic. There we go. 
For some reason, sometimes Photoshop Elements doesn't show you the thumbnail over here. It'll come back at some point. Now let's take this layer here, drag it underneath. So it's in behind this front layer. Now go to our top layer and then on your blend modes up here, come down to the hard light blend mode right there. There we go. Now you may want to come in and make some slight adjustments in here on the values and you do your adjustments on the photo layer up here, our main layer. Go up to layer, come down to new adjustment layer and levels. Make sure you check this use previous layer, very important. Choose OK. And then here I can make the image lighter or darker, the foreground image. And that allows me to see more detail here inside of the foreground. And I'll darken it down just a little bit. I'm really watching the hair down here. I wanted to see some stuff happening down in the hair area. And that looks pretty good right there. Now, if you're not seeing the background in here because of the real bright sky, you can come down and grab the white side on the bottom or output levels, and you can adjust that right here to show just a, a little bit more of those pictures, just about like that. Not too much right in there. And choose OK. And there we go. There is your easy to do photo mosaic portrait with just a couple little sneaky tricks to make this thing work out. And if you like this video, hit that like button. Make sure you click on subscribe and also check out my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. The link for that is right down there in the description. And I'll see you next time.